I think that maybe perhaps we've taken the idea of cinema in in maybe a weird angle. You know, it, I think it's pretty well recognized that cinema is a reflection of society. And this is, again, what, I'm, what I mentioned before, seems to be taking it to the discursive level rather than the narrative level. It seems to be that we're kind of looking at this element of cinema as a reflection of society as, you know, or cinema as political, which it is, mm -hmm. but we're not seeing cinema doing politics. We're doing cinema and politicizing its surfaces and its um, mechanisms. And mm. these are important issues, I think, the is issues of labor and issues of all aspects of how a film is made, you know, at every level. But yeah, I think the older way of thinking of it, and I think it's still a valid way of thinking about it. Maybe I'm a dinosaur at this point, but I think that <laughs> the narrative should be what pushes the political and the, and the idea, you know, this is a 2000 year old idea that what we find value in in the tragedy is the tragedy. Right. And that the tragedy right. tells us something about the human condition. But now it seems like there's we're so meta now that it's the mm. meta issues that rise to the top rather than the unfolding of, of an empathetic bond with what's happening in the narrative. Mm. So if you don't mind, I, maybe we could pull this back towards the narrative side of what's happening. This has its own gatekeeper element. Right. In terms of what films get made and what don't get made, you know, and, and you're talking about who gets nominated, who, who doesn't get nominated. Or there's all of these gatekeepers at play in, in these decisions. And I'll just say it. My concern is that film narratives are getting washed out by mm. the demands of correctness. And we can see it in films becoming more predictable. Like, right. I'll, I'll give Glass Onion as an example. I had all kinds of right. problems with that movie. I thought it was entertaining. Um, it had some real problems with its narrative development. But I knew from the very beginning who was going to be the good guy in the end. Um, because the demographic right. had to win the narrative game. And I think that Glass Onion, mm. an ensemble film, you know, had to play out this way. And so you can almost yeah. predict by the demographics how it's going to play out. Another example, I don't know if you saw the Irish film The Wonder with Florence Pugh. I did not, no. But I'm, I'm aware of it, but I haven't seen it. Yeah, I really did not like this movie. <laughs> Florence Pugh, she gave a stellar performance. Let me just say that. But her character is a woman who already knows everything. She doesn't change at all through the course of the film. And in the end, she's right. And to me, this right. is just poor filmmaking. It, it There's no yep. arc of of self-doubt and, you know, taking stock. Uh, there's no reversal. There's no, there's a challenge, obviously, that she has to face, but she's just steadfast. And she's exactly the same in the beginning as she is at the end. And so, you know, you were talking about risks and I'm right on board with you. I feel like cinema has lost its boldness of antagonizing and taking a mm. risk. And part of what cinema should do to be political is to antagonize its viewers. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it, th if there is antagonizing going on, it, it seems to be very talky and very expository and kind of, you know, and again, women talking, which I think is a, is a, is a, is a very good film, and we can talk about that later. But that's an example of, mm -hmm. you know, again, the expository way of playing something out. But it's all very at the level of conversation. So I think cinema has always been about progressive social change, but this wave seems to be too obvious to hold any tension. And I feel like mm. the studios are now built to avoid bad press. You know, of course, studios yeah. are corporations with shareholders and they have ancillary business concerns. You know, they're all kind of conglomerates, I think, at this point, or they're owned by somebody else who has some pull. So there's reluctance to be dangerous. But I think what I'm saying is I'd really like to see a return of cinema's sense of risk and danger. And I haven't seen any indication of that yet. Yeah. And I think there are films which kind of represent certain sorts of experiences or, or people that are have been underrepresented for a long time, which do this very well. And I'll mention two mm -hmm. off the top of my head. I think the work of Barry Jenkins, for example, particularly mm -hmm. if Beale Street could talk. Great movie. Manages to have this sense of, of revelation Mm -hmm. And takes risks 
aesthetically that I feel like, you know, the characters maintain their ambiguity and richness. And in fact, the issues that he's representing in Highlight are even more powerful because of this. Where a film, like you mentioned, Glass Onion, or The Wonder, even though I haven't seen it, but the way you're describing it makes it sound like this, kind of give you a representation of politics rather than actually an articulation or expression of politics. I think revelatory art, cinema, is an actualization of politics. And the the film itself, in its risk-taking, in its revelations, manages to do this. Whereas I think Glass Onion is just saying, well, we all agree that this should happen. So I'm just going to represent that, you know? Mm -hmm. And another film I'd probably mention too is uh, Judas and the Black Messiah, which I, I felt was full of revelation. And, you know, you really see this kind of social environment and this this moment of of great political and social change as this sort of rich ambiguous you know sort of tragedy in a way and it it does make the politics much more powerful Mm, absolutely so in a weird way by by doing things in a cinematic way despite i think what the kind of social media critics might say it makes the politics more powerful not less Yeah. And that's, I think, what we're both advocating here in a way. Mm -hmm. 